Prep for RCS thruster calibration. Please hold on to the railing for the duration of the test flight. Initiating RCS thruster test. In three, two, one. RCS thruster check complete. Proceeding to primary thruster calibration. Reminder, please hold on to the railing, igniting primary thrusters in three, two, one. Fury transport calibration complete. Liv, the Fury transport is set for flight. Great. Coordinates have already been uploaded to the Navcon. Just touch the marked location on the hollow map and you'll be on your way. I'll Select you your destination. Bridge. Good luck. I'm underway. Distance to anomaly, 4,800 meters. Copy that. I have a visual on your transport. 3,500 meters. 2,000 meters. Steady as she goes. Godspeed. Look at that thing. Just incredible. Jack! The furious malfunction. I have no control. I'm drifting toward the anomaly. Remote link's been severed. I can't reboot the transport. Liv, I'm taking radiation damage. Abort, Jack. Get out of there, now. Just ditch the fury. Go! Evacuating fury. Hurry, Jack. Get clear of that radiation. Stand by. Jack, the fury has completely dropped off my scope. Total loss of signal. It's just... it's gone. On approach, I noticed the anomaly was pulling the surrounding debris into its center. You think the anomaly is housing some kind of singularity? That would be consistent with my observations, yes. Needless to say, I doubt we'll be seeing that Fury transport again. Okay. Well, so much for scanning the anomaly up close. Shields at 30%. Reboot initiated. Jack. Jack, are you all right? I'm here. I was able to transfer to a new shell. Oh, thank God for that. I think those disturbances might actually be electromagnetic pulses. You might not be able to scan the anomaly up close, but I think we can reconfigure a geological sensor to do the trick. How so? Well, if we can use it to read fluctuations in the magnetic field, we should be able to get a look inside. There's just one, well, several problems. Go on. I've got failures all over the facility. For this plan to work, we'll first need to clear up some problems in the container field, the primary dig site, and the processing line. Send the details to my ARM computer. Done. Let me know when you arrive at the sites. Select your destination. Destination, container field. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Something must have contaminated the cargo. 
There's no way we'll get a clear read on the anomaly with all that interference. You'll need to find the source of the radiation and jettison it. My scanner should help me track down the culprit. Best guess? I'd say you're looking for levels around 80 or 90 decigrees. If you get into trouble, remember you can use the Fury Module's induction panel to recharge your shields. Radiation absorption at 30 decigrees and climbing. Agitated deuterium ions detected. Deuterium? That's a hydrogen isotope. How'd that end up in one of our helium-3 containers? Unclear. The processing line is configured to scrub any excess hydrogen. Ah, <sighs> sod it. For now, let's just deal with the contamination. I'll dispatch a fury to remove the irradiated container. Wait, something's wrong. What is it? I... I can't get the Fury transport to decouple from the container on the upper rack. I can throw the manual override on the Fury's hitch. Stand by. I'll make my way up there now. Approaching Fury transport. Careful. Once you decouple the transport's hitch, the autopilot's likely to kick in. So either get clear or find something to hold on to. Unlocking this hitch will release the Fury transport. Fury hitch released. Autopilot's taking over. So far, so good. Affirmative. But the container was breached. The contamination is spreading. Well, that certainly didn't go as planned. Okay, I've got an idea. If I release the container's maglocks, the Fury should just carry it away. Or it would if the controls were actually responding. You know what? Screw it. Just cut the power. Maybe that'll do it. Considering the damage, are you sure that's wise? Wise? Definitely not. But will it work? Only one way to find out. Shields at 95%. Cutting these maglocks should free the container. At least, in theory. Do I need to mention this is a gross violation of protocol? It's either this or risk contaminating the entire shipment. Sometimes you just have to improvise. just happened. Explosive decompression. The escaping gas caused the container to jettison itself. Okay, so not exactly what we were aiming for, but... Well, I suppose that takes care of our radiation problem. Good work. The sensor should be able to scan the anomaly free of interference. Okay, good start. We still need to find out what happened at the primary dig site and on the processing line. Let me know when you find out more. Hold on. Something's wrong with that fury transport. The one that collided with the container. What's wrong with it? I'm really not sure. It's moving erratically, veering wildly off its flight path. Could be a problem with the Fury's flight dynamics. Probably just need to reset the navcom. If you get a chance, would you mind looking into it? Copy that. And I'm not sure, but I think we might need to resynchronize the container field's inventory control system. Are these issues urgent? Neither one's going to keep us from scanning the anomaly. Consider them both secondary priorities. <laughs> no.
nice. Good work, Jack. What is it? Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was just... It was like watching some sort of weird robot rodeo. Cowboy Jack ropes himself a fury. <laughs> Do I get a hat? A hat, fancy boots, shiny spurs. We'll fix you right up. Till then, you can just leave the fury where it is. I'll have Hera run some diagnostics on it before I can reconnect the remote link. Copy that. I'm moving on. Happy trails, partner. Liv, you were right. The inventory control system is out of sync. Probably got knocked off cycle by one of those pulses. In order to resynchronize the inventory system, you'll have to quickly scan each of the three I.O. ports in the container field. Hera, mark the location of each I.O. port on my HUD. Once you scan the first I.O. port, you'll have roughly 70 seconds to scan the other two. If you don't make it, the system will reset and you'll have to start again. That's one. Clock is running. 70 seconds. One more to go. 50 seconds remaining. Success. Inventory control station synchronized. That was impressive. It wasn't all that difficult. After all, I was specifically designed to handle these types of demanding situations. Plus, you're incredibly modest. Thank you. Select your destination.